Hello, Internet world! It is another beautiful day, and it's a perfect opportunity to bring you a 360 video again. Uh, this is Eagle Ridge in Round Rock, and this house is for sale for $270,000. It's actually a pretty good deal, and let me tell you why. First off, let's walk through and take a look at the house. It is a four-bedroom, three-bath house. I'm doing an open house right now, so... Uh, you hear a little bit of music, but look at this front room. So this front room is perfect for an office space. I want you to keep in mind that as I'm walking through, I'm going to mention again, it's 360, which means you can take your finger, pan around, you can take your camera and look around, and if for some reason I'm walking too fast or moving too fast, pause the video, look around, and then you can unpause it and continue watching and listening. So I have one of the three bathrooms, it's actually a half bath over here, uh, laundry room, there's an upstairs area, uh, we will visit that in just a minute, and then I just want to stop and pause for a moment and admire the height of these ceilings. Look how tall these ceilings are. So take it and look around. I kind of like the faux fireplace here. Uh, I, I personally ask to keep it a little bit. I want to point out there is a security camera, uh, motion detectors, and there was actually a panel right on the front wall. Vivint is currently helping to secure the home, so if you are interested in having a security system, the house is already set up for it, and one of the things that you would want to ask is, hey, are we keeping the security system, and if so, do we owe any kind of uh, monthly fee, or is it paid off? So that's um, a discussion point in the negotiation for the home. Notice the kitchen has the outside, inside style tiles. I think it's groovy. I, I kind of like it. Um, and it's real tile, it's not linoleum, so the brick look, I think it looks good, I think it adds some character. The granite countertop, you have the middling brown colors, uh, no hardware, but that's okay, that's an easy enough upgrade. You have your stainless appliances, stainless and black. The fridge, I do not know if the fridge conveys, but I'm sure it's negotiable with the home. So I'm going to go ahead and step out back here. And I think the best way for you to get an understanding of what kind of space you're working with in the yard is to come stand over by this, this uh, classic smoker here and you get to see the yard kind of wraps around the house and you can see the distance from your neighbors. You can pay attention to the sloping of the yard. A lot of people, that is either a deal breaker or a deal saver. So I want you to have a chance to see that. Get a little bit of uh, viewpoint from the roof line. I think I missed the master bedroom, so we're going to go into the master bedroom here. I'm noticing that the fixtures seem to be standard builder grade fixtures with the exception of the fans in the house. So the fans are builder upgrade. Uh, the room, I think the master bedroom is a good enough size to put a king bed, king size bed, California king even, still have space to walk around, put a TV on the wall, and have two end tables, and maybe even a chair over in the corner. The master bath has a garden style tub, the little toilet room as it is in Texas almost always, the stand up shower, and here's the closet. So I want you to get a look at the closet space. Yes, the closet is inside of the bathroom. That is something that they do here. I'm from Chicago, so they didn't do that up north, but they do it here, and I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense. You get dressed, you go, you go take a shower, you can get dressed in the closet, and then come out into the bedroom ready already. So, and there's always a mirror in the bathroom. It really is logical. So I'm gonna go ahead, sorry for bringing you down there. I don't like bringing the camera in front of a mirror. We've got the garage right here near the entrance. Walking upstairs, notice the space. I'm gonna lift you a little higher so you can see the amount of space, how tall the ceilings really are in the living room and walking around the house. I'm walking into bedroom number, we'll call it two. Uh, good size for a child, since I'm standing in the center, you can get a perspective. Uh, closet right here. It's a closet that you can step inside of, just barely, barely step inside of. So I am looking at a loft space now. So the loft space, you can see that there's a cable hookup. So the plan is to probably put some sort of TV here, maybe a table or some couches and chairs. We have attic access right here. Bedroom number three, another good size, overlooking the front of the house. Okay. We've got a third bathroom right here, because we had the master and then we had the half bath downstairs. So we have the third one right here, and then we have the fourth bedroom. So once again, I'm pointing out that they are builder upgrade fans. 
Uh, so it's nice to, to know that you're buying a home that's already upgraded. So this house was built in 2013. In this neighborhood, Eagle Ridge and Round Rock, the annual HOA, annual HOA is $180. $180. I almost said $1,000. $180 a year. That's insane. That's amazing. The tax rate is low. It's 2.3 and some change. And you're getting all this space uh, and it's listed at 270000 keeping in mind that that's negotiable. Look, I want to be your realtor. If you're buying with me, it doesn't cost you a thing, so I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and I hope you, I hope you like the video. My name is Ian of Austin. You can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, any of those places. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon.